whether that recent rotation is real and if it's truly time to turn your portfolio upside down as the new year approaches. Let's ask Liz Young, SoFi's head of investment strategy, with me here at Post 9. Nice to see you again. You that, too. that really feels like it's a conversation here. We're trying to gauge whether this is legit, whether these yeah. unloved areas that have bounced a lot since November mm -hmm. are going to keep going at the expense of maybe mega cap tech. Well, I think a rotation is natural after we've seen such bifurcation, such a big a big group of laggards in the market all year. And we're at a place where I think bullish sentiment is is at the top. I don't know that we can get much more bullish. The spread between bullish and bearish sentiment in the AAII surveys is huge. So I don't think that we can get that much more optimistic. So now investors, instead of taking money out of the equity market, are just looking for other places to deploy it. Some of the things that are happening today that are a little bit confusing, though, and, and I've got this sort of theme of wrapped in contradictions for next year, mm -hmm. is that you've got this story of oil down so much, yet some of the cyclical sectors are rallying. So there's this contradiction between, well, if oil is down on the heels of supply cuts, yet we've got cyclical sectors rallying, the stock market doesn't agree, there's, there's still something going on there that isn't quite making sense. And then you've got small caps doing okay, but the indexes themselves are mixed on a day when the 10-year yield is down. So the, the theme today is just not clear. You really think people are that positive? I, I still feel like there's so much negativity that's out there. People are almost afraid to, you know, decide, OK, I, maybe the Fed's going to pull this off. Maybe we're going to have the soft landing. Maybe inflation is going to continue to come down and maybe the economy is going to hang in there despite some signs that it's weakening. And we just don't know to the degree in which it's going to continue to do that. I think that there have been a lot of people who have jumped over the fence into that more positive territory. And, and maybe it's more along the lines of there were so many that were positive, self-included. I felt pretty sure that we were going to at least find out this year whether or not we'd have a recession. And I think there were a lot of people that felt the same way. The fact that we didn't and that inflation has come down so quickly but other things have held up so much has, I think, convinced people that at least maybe there's more of a possibility of this soft landing idea than before. Well, you're not fully on the bullish boat, right? I mean, you've been no. reluctant to kind no. of move more aggressively in that direction. What, what's been holding yeah. you back? Because there's indicators that I can't ignore. I am absolutely aware and I fully recognize that the market is telling us cyclicals are doing okay, the economy is doing okay, even economic data in a lot of cases is telling us that we're doing okay. But the cooling is here and there are still signals out there that are worrisome. The yield curve inversions are worrisome. Some of the behavior in yields is really worrisome. And the fact that we've got companies expecting really strong earnings next year, already at 19 times multiples on the S&P, I don't know how much further there really is to run. So if you just think about that idea in particular, if you if earnings go up next year, right, and the stock market stays exactly where it is, that takes care of the multiple problem. We will have PEs come down, but that doesn't make the market look all that attractive from here. So it's difficult for me to jump on a bullish bandwagon, especially in the face of what's going on in, in the rates market where you've got Fed cuts being pulled more and more forward.